got to mount that in the bike. What it do, E World? Crisscrossing wires and uh, man, guys, it rained all day here today in Virginia. So uh, you know, me and wifey went out, took care of a couple things. Anyway, uh, got this thing back on the charger, getting the last little bit of charge in it. Just want to show it to you one more time. Like I said, uh, this thing is nasty, man. Um, and just for FYI, man, I am going to be selling these copper-infused packs. Um, roughly, just a rough ballpark estimate, probably for about two grand, which is cheaper than light speed or chai batteries. And uh, I guarantee you, my packs can supply more current. And, like I said, I'm actually going to be using copper uh, infusion instead of uh, the nickel uh, traces. And I'm pretty sure that those guys aren't selling uh, copper strips, you know, as their uh, normal packs. I think they only do that custom for, uh, you know, specific customers that request that. I'm pretty sure if you guys open up a light speed pack or a chai pack, it's nickel strips in there. But uh, I could be wrong. Somebody let me know. I don't have one to uh, open up and check out. But anyway, uh, I definitely like to get my hands on one just to see uh, what they're selling to the average customers. All right, as you can see, I also, I'm going to have a voltmeter on mine, and that voltmeter has a temperature sensor as well built into it. Um, also, it's on a timer, so it goes off. Also, uh, I intend to put a BMS on them, but not a, a regular BMS. My BMS meaning battery monitor system. So, uh, like I said, you'll be able to monitor the volts, the amps, the watts, and all that Bluetooth. Uh, I actually ordered one, but uh, I wasn't satisfied with it, so uh, I returned it. So, for right now, I'm just going to go by that little meter and, you know, closely monitor it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be selling these packs in the future, and uh, like I said, man... We're going with copper, and uh, I think that's going to make for the best, uh, most efficient delivery of power. As you can see, I got zero gauge power wise that's going to the controller. Uh, this is a combination of two packs uh, built together. Um, I have four gauge wires. Uh, running them in parallel and then they are doubled up and combined into that zero gauge power wire which is going to be going to your controller so uh yeah we're going to be getting the most possible amps that you can get out of this pack uh the fans are going to mount in my frame via some wire ties i'm just going to strap them up in the frame and uh like i said have uh one for intake one for exhaust just to move the air through the frame you know to keep it uh from in the summertime you know keep it from overheating in there because it's you know no matter what you're going to do in the summertime it's it's going to build up some heat so as long as you keep some air moving through there you know that should help but uh Yep, I got the uh, heat shrink. We're going to throw the heat shrink on there now and throw it up in the frame tonight. Uh, tomorrow it's not supposed to be raining. So, you know, hopefully we can get out there and do a test. But yeah, if anybody may be interested in one of these batteries in the future, you know, just keep in mind that uh, I will be selling these. And I'm only going to be building custom packs, man. I'm not, I'm not going to be dealing with the little regular basic pack so i mean you know for guys they want big custom packs for their bikes uh that's more what i want to do it's custom packs all right so uh 
yep, that's where we at. We're going to let, uh, let it finish charging up all the way. And, uh, yeah, we're going to throw it up in there. I might even uh, do a live stream as I'm putting it in. I'm not sure. But, I mean, it ain't no big deal putting the battery in the bike. But uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. All right, y'all. Take it easy. Take care. I know... Uh, Y'all like, come on now, let's get it, let's get it done already. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying to get it done as fast as I can, man. But uh, like I say, some things just can't be rushed. And, uh, you know, I'm very pleased with how it turned out, you know. And, uh, yeah, not too bad, you know, considering it, it's my first build. So, yep. All right, y'all. Deuces. We out.